So you guys have not seen this background in probably quite some time. Um, I know, nostalgic, right? Um, this is my old room back at my parents' house. I'm no longer in LA. I'm back at home doing college -y things, finishing out my senior year of college, which is wild because I feel old as crap. It's fine. But today is technically the first day of school for most of the people in my at my university. Um, it's Monday, but I have only classes Tuesday, Thursday, so it's time not technically my first day and I figured in honor of the big back to school festivities I would be doing a back to school supplies slash essentials video because I have done one of these videos for many years in a row and they have gotten positive feedback and as I continue out through my college career I found that I find that my audience is also growing up with me and going to college and stuff like that and they're looking for tips and stuff like that to make sure that their space their you know supplies and everything eases them into the college life and yeah I don't think I've come out and said this in a video but I'm actually not living here this year um, this is my parents house this is my room here but I'm actually um, living with a bunch of my friends in a different house but it's just not great filming setup so I'm filming here but I will definitely show you guys my room once that is all complete but since I'm living with a bunch of people I want my space to smell delicious because I love it and it's like my own little room and I love it so much and so I've been burning a lot of candles recently and I know a lot of universities don't allow candles which is why I'm going to show you an alternative for this but yes so here are all the candles that I've been burning um, these are the two that I've already been burning and these are two that I'm like waiting to burn I wanted everything to smell delicious and so I'm trying to like pace myself but this one is a banana nutmeg bread bread pudding and then this one is the bourbon butterscotch candle and these are both from Bath and Body Works it's where I usually buy all of my candles and they have the best fall scents ever and so if you want your room to be smelling like delicious and you're gonna be like obviously more focused when you're studying and stuff like that if your room smells decent not like a pigsty when your room is more personable to you you'll definitely feel more comfortable and able to focus in that room so that's why I've been burning a lot of these candles recently I love me some candles this one's a farm stand apple one and, whoa Oh my god, it smells so good. You can buy all these different ones at Bath & Body Works because they have the best candles. And if you agree, let me know which ones I should buy in the comments below. So I know a lot of my subscribers actually live in a dorm and they can't really burn candles there. So another alternative that you can do is using the wallflowers from Bath & Body Works. These are seriously so amazing. My mom uses these all the time. And it's just like this little like liquidy thing. And this is just a plug-in. You plug it into an outlet, which obviously your dorm will most likely have an outlet for you to plug things in. And you know, you just put this in here and it burns. And well, it doesn't burn. And to me, I would describe it as like a liquid potpourri. So it's like to have in your dorm, but it will make sure that your space smells good so you can focus. And this one, I think I took off the tag, which was not smart, but this one's like a lemony scent. So it's really fresh and I love it so much. But not like a little nugget right there, I think. There you go. So because I've been decorating my own new room back in my um, house with my friends, I've been utilizing all different types of decorations and something that I used that I've never used before were decals this year and they're so cool. You can go on Etsy, you can find like basically any kind of decal that you can just put on your wall and you know peel it off when you're done because that's something to like spice up a dorm room and so I think these are great. I bought these polka dot ones that are about four inches I think. Um, diameter wise and they're just so cute they're metallic gold you just stick them up it's easy to apply and everything like that I just have them on a small section of my wall I bought like a 50 pack for about $20 and I think it looks so great so if you're looking to spice up your room with a little bit more color or something like that I would definitely check out decals you can find a bunch of unique ones on Etsy if you want to quote polka dots bows things like that just Etsy rocks Okay, so that's all of my like home tips, I guess you could say. Now moving on to the like body products that I'm going to talk about. So in college, you are going to be a little lazy when it comes to waking up and going to class. And sometimes you're going to smell better than other times. Something I keep right next to my door, so whenever I'm like ready to go and like walk out to class, um, I spray myself <laughs> with a 
body mist because these are so great and light that it's not like too overwhelming that you're like covering yourself you know how guys do with axe and you're just like holy cow this is more of like a light fragrance and so this is the one that I just recently started using it is the fine fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works in the scent country chic so that's so Kentucky right these are the kind of things that are really like helpful to have especially even in your purse or in your car because like when you go to restaurants that are like more heavy scented like Mexican food you don't want to smell like Mexican food when you leave the restaurant so that's where this comes in and it's seriously so great so definitely utilize body mist body mist rock and this is also from Bath and Body Works and it retails for $14 so holler at your boy. Throughout my collegiate career, I've used a lot of dry shampoo. I've tested out a lot of different kinds because, you know, waking up for class, ugh, don't really want to get ready for it. So I've used the Oscar Blondi dry shampoo for about half of a year now, and I really, really like it. This is my second bottle of it, and it's kind of expensive, but you can purchase this at Ulta, and you just like sprinkle it into your hair um, on the roots, and then you just like work it in, and it seriously absorbs it so well. It's better than the like spray instant kind that I usually purchase just because I feel like this does a better job at absorbing the oils and making your hat look your hair look a little bit more matte so that's just something to consider if you wanted my tip now moving on to my like kind of holly part I guess I don't know um, this is the stuff that I actually purchased supply wise for this year um, being a senior I don't really need a lot except for like textbooks and notebook which you guys don't really care to see um, and then, of course, an agenda and pens and fun stuff like that that we all love when we go back to school. So these are the things that I've been using a lot. In previous years, I've used the Lily Pulitzer agendas, which are really, really great. Um, and they get the job done. Um, you can buy these, but you probably see every other girl on campus with them. And so that was a problem with me, so I didn't buy another one this year, which is kind of sad because I love my Lily Pulitzer agendas. This year, I decided to go with the Kate Spade agenda, which is the same size as the large one from Lily Pulitzer and obviously I monogrammed them because if it's not moving obviously you're gonna monogram it. I love this one it matches my room back in my new room um, it's just like a cream color with gold little metallic dots and I got this cute little coral monogram on it and this one's not as colorful as the Lily Pulitzer one but I kind of like it and it's just got the same kind of setup as all the Lily Pulitzer agendas do. I, I keep my agendas because to me they're kind of like diaries. Like I write stuff down that like happened throughout the year and stuff um, on, in my agenda just because I know I will keep it. So I don't know. I'm cheesy like that I guess. And now for the third year in a row I've purchased the Gel Ink Pens The Fashion and Glitter Pack from Target. These I think are like $11. So it's a little bit kind of more expensive than you usually pay for, you know, stupid stuff like this but I use these the entire year they come in so many different colors and I organize my stuff by color like my classes by colors and stuff like that and I like to make my notes a little bit more colorful because I'm that's the way I stay focused in class because I want to use different colors and stuff because I'm a nerd and so these ones are my favorite ones um, they don't smear they don't bleed through so that's why I really like them and it just makes your agenda so much more bright and lovely so definitely check these out they're from Target and then I've been using these things called the Le Pens, and I actually was introduced these through my friend Design Darling, or Mackenzie, and she sent me a bunch of these hot pink ones, and I'm actually not much of a pink person, even though I'm wearing pink right now, so I'm kind of contradicting myself, but I love these. Like, I love them, and I'm going to order, like, the multicolored pack, because they remind me a lot of the Sharpie pens, but to me, I just think they're a little bit better, and um, I you just get a lot of them. So. During my freshman year and also part of my sophomore year, year I used a very Br Vera Bradley backpack to carry everything and I really liked that but I've actually gotten into using tote bags more and then this one is the one I'm using this year and it's a Vineyard Vines one. It's like this nautical flag. I love it so much. It's about the same size as a Longchamp bag and I love it so much. I think it's so pretty and bright and I used a Vineyard Vines bag last year. Um, tote bag and I loved it and so this year I got this one and I love it too. It matches my Shep shirt and I've been using it like whenever I come home um, from my other house and like packing everything in it so I can't wait to sport this around campus tomorrow. I'm gonna look hashtag swag. Do you feel? I've been saving a bunch of stickers because I love to decorate a bunch of my stuff with 
stickers just because it makes it more unique and easier to spot like which one's yours because I'm in a sorority and a lot of us actually use like the same kind of agendas and stuff and so like when you're in meeting and you have all your stuff everywhere it's gonna get mixed up so if you can just spot like with a monogram or anything like that or stickers that you can buy um, online off of eBay um, off their websites like so pro and stuff like that um, it just makes it so much easier for me and so that was just like a little tip I was gonna share with y'all now moving on to my fashion essentials for the beginning of back to school and stuff like that. Um, being in college, obviously I wear a lot of t-shirts and stuff to, to class and shorts, but this is more of like the going out attire. Something that I always really like to have now is having like a long like statement necklace. I really like short statement necklaces too, but for some reason I've been wearing a lot of long ones recently. This one's from Kendra Scott and it's one of her tassel ones um, and it's the ivory pearl color with these like little tassels. Tassels are clearly in the season and I'm kind of obsessed. And then you can also find very similar things off of Bobble Bar which I will be linking in the down bar as well as earrings similar to this. I found like almost dupes for so I figured I would just include that below. Then another thing that I wanted to touch on is something like top wise that I wear especially whenever I go out. I wear a lot of white tops like is this just a me thing? I don't really know. But this one I actually got from my market, and I'll be linking it in the down bar, and it's just this, like, it reminds me a lot of that Topshop romper that I have that I've worn a lot, and on top, and then it's like a little peplum. So how cute is this going to look with pixie pants? Yes, I know. It's going to look ador adorable. And then one that is more, like, you know, uh, casual is this one from Misguided, and I ordered this one in a size 8, which is a size 4 US. It's a short sleeve shirt and it actually has little pom poms on the bottom. So that wraps up my back to school essentials video. This is like my last like one is actually being in school which is mind boggling if you ask me. So I hope you all enjoyed it. So definitely check out all of everything in this down bar and check me out on all my different social media links and I will talk to you all later. Have a great back to school season.